the Balkan Peninsula is named after a mountain range in Bulgaria. It was once thought these mountains crossed the entire region. Now we know that this is just one of many small mountain ranges in southeastern Europe. But the name remained. Dumitor lies in the north of Montenegro. Thick primeval forests cling to its mountain slopes above sheer rock faces and gorges. It's such remote and wild country that it still remains almost inaccessible for human settlers. Nature not only survives, but actually thrives. This is a truly ancient forest. These 50 meter high black pines have stood for a half a millennium and are the last of their kind in Europe. These secluded mountainous regions have guarded nature since before records were kept. The ancient forests still provide a safe haven for creatures that have virtually disappeared from the rest of Europe. Wolves still roam throughout the Dumitor Mountains, and their howl is a primal call of the wild. A pair of honey buzzards nest above them. Usually they feed upon the larvae in wasps' nests, but when the chance comes, they'll take other small prey too, like this frog. Next to the buzzards, a black woodpecker has hollowed out its nest. The honey buzzards have only hatched a single chick, but it's rapacious. But the woodpeckers have a far noisier and larger family to feed. These mountains still remain as a home for the brown bear. It's late in autumn and this bear is putting on as much fat as possible before finding a cave to hibernate in and survive the harsh winter of the Balkans. Another animal that survives in the wilderness of Dumitor is the lynx. Shy and wary, the lynx silently moves and hunts in these forests. But now they are few and far between. Probably only around a hundred Balkan lynx remain. Those few humans who do live here give the bear a nickname, Medved, the honey eater. And it's a suitable name, for its fat belly is almost entirely the result of honey, plundered from many beehives. Bears seldom, if ever, leave the protection of these forests that cling precariously to the more gentle mountain slopes, but then abruptly end. The gorges and chasms that cut into the Dumitor Mountains are the deepest in the Balkans. There are no natural access routes down into them, even for bears. These deep gorges remain pristine. The greatest of them all is the Tara Canyon a spectacular example of the raw power of nature. At 1,300 meters deep and 78 kilometers long, the Tara Canyon is the deepest and longest in the whole of Europe. Because the flowing water is turquoise blue and crystal clear like teardrops, local people have named this Europe's tear.
swimmers like the European otter are able to get to the bottom of the canyon. If Europe's tear does bring one to the eye, it's a tear of joy. Dumitor's status as a national park has given the canyon protection. However, responsible ecotourism is being encouraged. The Austrian Development Cooperation is helping Montenegro to build hiking paths into the Tara Canyon and hostels to make this unique natural heritage accessible to limited tourism. Once in the water, the European otter is in its element. With a streamlined body, the otter swims effortlessly through the river while it hunts its prey, often river trout. The River Tara project will prove that it is possible to combine wilderness with responsible ecotourism, and the benefits will flow on through to an often impoverished rural population. Over 1,000 meters above the Tara Canyon lies an almost barren landscape. This is a desolate plateau, almost the end of the world. Bleak, lonely, and seemingly deserted, but only at first glance. People still live here. Forgotten by time and isolated by their environment, but yet very much a part of it. This is Skadasko Yezero, or Skadar Lake. With its 50 islands, Skadar Lake between Montenegro and Albania actually looks more like a vast river system. But it's the largest lake in the Balkans, almost 50 kilometers long and up to 15 wide. Depending on the season, water levels can fluctuate by up to five meters. In ancient Greece, there was a saying, Panta Re, everything changes, nothing stands still, only change is constant. Ruins of monasteries and fortresses stand on many of the islands a reminder of the lake's strategic importance during the conflict with the Ottoman Empire. Some of the islands are actually just hills, but only connected to the mainland during a very dry summer. In the lake's northwest, on one of these hills, stands the fortified monastery of Kom, built in the in early summer, the sound of prayer is broken by the calls of thousands of birds. Skadar Lake is one of the most important resting and breeding grounds for migratory birds in Europe. The part of the lake belonging to Montenegro has been a national park since 1983, and the Albanian part was declared a park in 2005. At this time of the year, water plants are spreading out their leaves, and dense reed beds are growing around the shores. The floating carpet of water lilies makes this a safe breeding ground for terns. Huge colonies build their nests, always to a cacophony of ceaseless screaming. Frogs are breeding too and they join in the chorus. These floating islands are a sanctuary against predators, 
but it can be confusing. Not every tern finds its way back to its own nest straight away. Larger waterfowl prefer to build their nests in the reed beds that fringe the lake. While thousands of cormorants use dead trees for their nests. Watching young cormorants feed is a salutary lesson. The youngsters poke their heads far into their parents' gullet in their haste to get their regurgitated fish. It's a miracle that they don't puncture their parents' throats. Other species breed in mixed colonies, like the elegant little egret and the spoonbill. Beneath them, a black-crowned night heron stalks amidst the reeds, while a squaco heron settles down to brood. Collective breeding is a strategy which gives a greater degree of security for all, as there are many vigilant eyes on the lookout for nest robbers and the chicks are well hidden between the reeds. Skadar Lake at the west of the Balkans is a paradise for birds, even if there are no elves. <laughs>